I just want to make a quick uh, comment about uh, what Carrie was talking about. This was her, saw, her uh, last screen. Note the far right uh, column uh, relates to the Marathi version you're using, and that that will apply to what I'm going to talk about, which is this all the development that's been working we've been doing for the Marathi work plan. It's been our focus for probably nine months, and the new version that comes out will be a 4.4, and will require update to 4.4 to use all these cool f features. Um, I'm hoping that you all see at, on the left uh, a work plan. If you're unfamiliar with Marathi um, or its entirety, it has these views, summary, diagram, target viability, threat ratings, and people slow down in the strategic plan. And by this time, you really got to be committed. Uh, and so far, we've only had one organization that has really been committed to this last item work plan, and that's and that's Stuart over in Bush Heritage Australia. Uh, and there are good reasons for that. Um, in 4.31, for example, all the work that Annette does uh, in putting in her work units and her expenses don't roll up to the top, um, whereas the new one, 4.40, which I'm mocking up on the right-hand side, uh, does that. But that's that's just the first of scores of things we'll talk about. As I said, we've been doing nine months of this. I'm going to focus on this one results chain that's uh, on the left side. Uh, the current Marathi does not let you just focus on one, where what, what we did right off the bat was to add a couple of drop downs. So right there, you can decide if you want to look at conceptual models or results chains. And if you decide results chains, you can choose which one you want to look at. Uh, another thing we did right off the bat is, is the settings on the table that Annette has to go to to kind of define what is, uh, what's, what's going to be displayed is, is currently in a place that's a little far, far to reach. It's in the Marathi preferences up here. We brought this thing right down to the first tab next to it so that you can take care of all your, uh, what's the time frame of the project, what's your fiscal year, um, and, and we added some other things. Um, there was uh, the option of uh, hiding or showing quarters. There's also, in addition, options to hide and show days. Um, and we have down below a couple of references to two wor uh, work plans. Uh, why two work plans? Because we're doing so much work, we wanted to keep track of what was on, currently on 431, and we call it the legacy work plan. Uh, what, what we're focusing on and what will be the new work plan, it, we're calling currently the shared work plan. And I think we're just about the consensus that we're going to uh, get uh, just remove the old legacy work plan for reasons of speed, development cost, and uh, eliminate confusion. So anyone who's current working on this work plan will migrate to this other one, and this one line of eliminate rats from islands will be expressed, um, you know, in one at a time. Now there are a lot of other important things that you should know. In in the old work plan, there are some. Um, some monitoring that is done with respect to indicators and also occasionally uh, methods. Now the concept of put, applying work units and expenses to an indicator didn't really make sense to us. We felt it was more of a monitoring activity. A after all, most of when we talk about the activities um, that are non-monitoring, uh, it makes sense that you attach people to those activities and how much work they put into them and other costs, you know, travel and et cetera. And so we followed that model in monitoring and said, let's get rid of indicators as a container for people doing work and let's just create, think of them as purple act uh, activities. 
uh, monitoring activities. So when you see a line that's purple, you know it's a monitoring activity. And if it's yellow in the old uh, way, it's your uh, typical action activity. So again, this what I'm showing you is, is part of the new um, blowout for this one results chain, eliminate rats from islands. And I've shown you a couple of columns that relate to the uh, rows over here with their information. We, uh, one thing to note about the high level planning here, this is an independent entry and will be in 4.4 that's really un unrelated to all the work unit data that will uh, show up um, in your totals. Uh, it, we felt there's still a need for high level planning, but let's not have it define what people are doing when they get into the detail. Uh, you'll note that we have three levels here um, in our work plan. It's strategies, activities, and steps, the gray ovals, excuse me. As you can see, you can mix and match monitoring activities and um, action activities, whether they're yellow or purple, they all roll up into a yellow strategy. There's a lot more detail over in the columns that I could show you, but I won't. Uh, but it, it could be expanded here into uh, years, quarters, months, and even days. Um, let's see. Perhaps for those who have looked at the work plan, the most interesting thing let's see if I can, yeah, there we go, uh, is, or at least recently, is that you can filter the assignments and the projected expenses, which in the old version were only visible down in the sub-panel. We've brought them up from the sub-panel so that they can be displayed underneath each uh, activity or step or strategy, because all three of these, act, what we uh, lump together as actions, whether it's a strategy, an activity, or a step, one of these, can have people below them and can also have expenses below them. Now, the expenses, uh, they look a little different. And I don't, yep, there's one, boat rentals. Uh, it has a little green thing. Um, but And the assignments are your resources from your project resources, which you fill up in this this tab here. So one of the most important thing reasons we did this was because when we get to Elena Martin, for example, we want to be able to apply the kind of taxonomies that Carrie was just talking about to each one of these people and each one of these expenses. And it the program, as with PSP, can define what they want to classify the expenses and the, um, the people for. Um, let me give you an example. In Bush Heritage Australia, they care about accounting codes because they move their work plan data all to the finance department. So the finance department can take their forecast and integrate it with their actuals. And so what they've done in the past and what they're doing now is they will use the um, what's baked into Marathi over here, and I won't show it there. But what you get in Marathi is one drop down for accounting code, one for funding source, one for category one, one for category two. And if you can use those and come up with the uh, what you want, you're good. But um, Annette in Australia has found out, well, I have to use a some program taxonomies to get one segment of my accounting code. I'll use this accounting code thing to get my second segment, and I'll take one of these categories to get my third and fourth segments. So she's got kind of a Rube Goldberg manner of delivering the accounting codes to um, their finance department. With the new, um, with the new Marathi, we are employing what our program taxonomy mechanisms uh, and adding a little ordering um, enhancement 
so that you can define your accounting codes. Accounting codes tend to go in segments, sometimes a couple, sometimes as many as seven and nine. And you hey, can, Warren? yes. And can I jump in here and just see if there's any questions? We're getting towards the end of our time here. Yeah. Yeah, and I want to leave time for the poll. So right. there's a couple nice comments saying that this is very useful, which is excellent. But are there any any last questions for Warren before we ask you guys to answer a poll? Yeah, thanks, Carrie. I get excited about this topic. <laughs> no, this is all great comments. Everyone is saying this is super useful. So it's great to see. Yeah, I, the the main point I want to want to get at is if you plan to to get into the work plan, please contact me. Uh, I'm, I'm the best resource to really tell you everything that's we've been doing on this and to work with you to make it work right. Um, we expect a release, uh, well, in this, this, uh, this summer, uh, there are a lot of serious changes that we have made to Marathi and we, we do it all together in the Marathi team and to get a consensus. Uh, so it's, uh, it's it's been quite a challenge, but we're really I'm really pleased with where we're headed, and I think everyone else is too.